Hi guys and welcome back to another caravan video. In today's video I'm going to be resealing the outside of the caravan. I've got a leak in the window here just behind me. I noticed while it was raining not so long ago. So now we've had a couple of days of really good weather. I'm going to try and tackle that problem and stop the leak. So what I'm going to be doing is just removing the aluminium trim from along the side of the van. I'm going to remove all the rubber going to clean the area and then insert a new seal. So what I'll be using is this roll of mastic sealing strip. It's a sealant strip that never ever dries. It's like a, a putty sort of material uh, and it's really flexible and durable. Double sided as well so sticking it shouldn't be a problem. There should be no mess. It'll be a case of taking the old one down, putting this into position, taking the sticky back off it and reinserting or re-putting up the aluminium trim. It's a 19 metre roll. It's 19 millimetres wide and 2.5 millimetres thick. Okay, this was around um, this was around £16.50 from Amazon. I'll put the link below in the description. Remove the trim from off the outside and I've been left with this horrible black mess. I had to remove the window as well so that has now come out. So the next step is just to remove this black mess, clean up the surface and put in the new mastic bead. So if you're having trouble removing this black stuff as you can see it is a nightmare to get off. And what I've found, the easiest way to get that off is with WD-40, okay? Just spray a bit of WD-40 on, wait a couple of seconds, and there is the final product there. Okay, just ordinary blue WD-40 will help you tremendously in getting this horrible black sticky stuff off. So I've finally got all the black mastic off. What I'm just going to do now is put the new seal on and leave it up there while I clean up the aluminium strip to put back on. So when I've put the strip on now, come to the end, I've butted it up to the join there. So that now is ready to be cut off. So guys, this strip was very easy to install. As you can see, I've just finally finished it and what I've done is I've overlapped the join so there'll be no water to get in there and I've also covered the screw holes. So when I put the new screws in, once they're tight it'll form a seal around the screw hole. Okay guys, so the new seal is back on and I've just placed the uh, trim back on. What I'm going to do now is just clean up the screw cover and refit that. That'll be then the new seal fitted to the van. Right guys, so the seal on the, the outside has now been replaced. So I'm just gonna show you the tools that I use to get that done. It's very, very warm today, as you can probably tell by my t-shirt. I'm a little bit sweaty and it's took me probably, it's took me probably three or four hours just to uh, replace that seal along the side of the van. So let's just take a look at some of the tools that I use to complete this task. The first in the list is the drill driver with the Phillips head. I used a scraper and mark pen for marking where the holes are. I used plain standard WD-40, some alcohol gel for cleaning around the area and mopping up after the WD-40 to make sure the area was nice and clean. And just some kitchen roll there. As you can see guys, there's nothing um, expensive there. There's nothing specialised. Right guys, so that's this video come to an end. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do have any questions or you'd like any more information, what I've done or what I was doing, the tools that I used, anything like that, leave a comment in the section below and I will get back to you. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and take care. Bye bye.